There is no way you can grow and manage a small business without understanding your KPIs, which are key performance indicators. It doesn't matter if you're a startup, growing business, or major enterprise. If you do not know what KPIs are correlated to the success of your company, I can guarantee you that you will eventually mismanage your business. Sure, you may have a good product, the best salespeople, or cool marketing trick. But as you grow, I promise you, you will eventually have to face the underlying facts that exist in your business. And if you do not understand those facts or even track them, you're going to dig yourself into failure. Not only am I telling you this as a licensed CPA today, but I'm also telling you this from experience. I too made some mistakes in managing my first small business, a marketing agency, and their KPIs. But as of today, that same small business pulled in over $10 million in total revenue over the last three years. We've made the Inc. 5000 list two times in a row, and now we're one of the fastest growing private companies in the United States. Now, to be completely raw and transparent with you, it wasn't until we figured out what was really driving the success of our business that we began to quickly grow. Once we did that, we focused our attention solely on these things, applied intense pressure to it, and now the rest is history. Hi, my name is Sherman with Life Accounting, a full service accounting firm that helps small businesses grow and manage their finances. In this episode, I'm going to give you some insight into what KPIs are, the importance of them, and the top KPIs to track for every business, regardless of your industry. By the end of this episode, you will be empowered to start understanding your business inside and out so you can make decisions to reach your fullest potential. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos that can help your business grow. Also, if you extract any value from this video at all, please help me out by hitting the like button below and I'd greatly appreciate it. To be clear, this video is for people who run businesses. If you're looking for formulas and spreadsheets here, this isn't the place for you. This video is for small businesses who desire to quickly grow and scale their business through the usage of KPIs. So if that's you, let's begin. Okay, let's start with the basics. What are KPIs? KPIs, also known as key performance indicators, are quantifiable metrics used to evaluate the success of an organization. I like to break down each word in the phrase to make sure you fully understand what they are key performance indicators. Let's start with the word key. This is a metric of paramount importance. Think of DJ Khaled when he drops major gems and says, major key, major key. Performance means that the metric should be related to your business performance. As the old saying goes, if it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense. If you're tracking vanity metrics that don't drive revenue, you're simply wasting your time. And lastly, indicator. Indicator means that the metric should indicate something, in this case, the health of your business. Your metrics should indicate how your business is performing. Like, are you growing? Are you profitable? Are you running out of cash? Key performance indicators should tell a story. When Warren Buffett famously says, accounting is the language of business, this is what I truly believe he's referring to. By understanding your numbers, and I mean, really understanding your numbers, you can make great decisions to grow your business. This simple fact is exactly why Warren Buffett will be known as one of the most successful business owners and investors in the world. He understood how to assess business KPIs that led to him making superb investment decisions. So why are KPIs important? Key performance indicators are so important because they align your deepest business goals with your current reality. They tell the truth about your business and when assessed, it can propel you to make better decisions to reach your business goals. Let me give you a very simple example that illustrates this concept that anyone can relate to. Let's say you wanna lose weight. That would be your goal. Now, you know that in order to lose weight, there are some things that you need to do. 
like working out, eating healthy, and so on. You can use KPIs to see how you're progressing towards your weight loss goal. The simplest KPI may just be stepping on the scale and seeing if the number went up or went down. Think of that KPI as revenue or sales in your business. However, stepping on the scale doesn't tell you the full story. It doesn't tell you if you lost muscle or gained fat, or if it was a new diet that worked or your new workout routine, or if you're in better shape now today than you were yesterday. And that's where the real KPIs come in, like analyzing your caloric intake, calories burned, body fat percentage, body mass index, and other metrics. These KPI metrics tell you exactly what's going on in your body. And that same thing is what successful business owners do in their business. They set strategic goals and identify the KPIs to track so that they can measure their progress towards those goals. Then they sit down at a table, look at the numbers and pull certain levers to adjust their results. KPIs are how you accomplish big goals, whether it's business or personal. So that's what KPIs are. Now let's talk about how you can start using this to reach your own business objectives. The very first thing you need to do is to determine your strategic goals. Regardless of how ambitious these goals are, set them. Then track the KPIs that are related to the success of your goals. Look at how you perform in the past across every critical area. Then you can analyze those facts and make further database decisions. Now the trick here is in identifying the KPIs that are most relevant to your business goals. And because there are hundreds of KPIs you can track, it can be a little confusing. I mean, you can track your current ratio, accounts receivable turnover, inventory turnover, return on equity, return on assets, profit per employee, and okay, I'll stop there. Looking at words like this is exactly why people think accounting is too complicated and boring. I mean, I studied this for almost a decade and I can tell you some of this stuff even makes me dizzy sometimes. No, but all jokes aside, these terms are really just ugly words to answer questions like, are your customers paying you on time? Do you have enough cash in the bank to pay your employees? Do you have too much inventory on hand? These are very important questions and KPIs not only answer them, but it can help you make better decisions to improve your business. You really need to know this stuff in order to manage a successful business. And once you know it, you can rally your team around helping you hit those business KPIs. With that said, let's discuss specific KPIs that every business needs to track at a minimum. I should start by saying there are many more KPIs to track than what I'm about to give you because different KPIs matter for different business types. For example, a restaurant may track average order size and how much food is spoiling, while an e-commerce store might track their website conversion rates or how much inventory they're buying but not selling. And a subscription-based business might focus on their average retention rate and lifetime value. And this list goes on and on. But there are some KPIs that every single business should be tracking. So let's quickly discuss those KPIs. But before I give them to you, I really want to challenge you here. To start, I want you to think about your business from the lens of your customer. How exactly do they interact with your business? How did they find you? Why did they choose you? Are they happy with your product? Are they paying you on time? Can they rely on your business to stay around for the future? The better you understand the answers to these questions, the better the decisions you can make to improve this and scale your business. KPIs can help provide you with the answers to your questions. So let's dig right into it. I like to break the core KPIs every business should have into three categories, customer acquisition, liquidity, and profitability. Let's start off with customer acquisition. If you don't have customers, you don't have a business. So it's important that you understand the metrics that drive your customer acquisition process. Typically, the most important metrics you need to know is your customer lifetime value, return on advertising spend, and your traffic and sales conversion rates across the different advertising sources that you have. 
This exercise will challenge you to get your customer acquisition process down to a science. Then you can set targets across these metrics and strategize to hit them. For example, in your company, you may look at your advertising spend, your resulting website traffic or store traffic, the percentage of that traffic that actually purchased something, how much of that thing they purchased and how frequently, and most importantly, what advertising channels did they come from? Looking at this will allow you to spend your money wisely to acquire customers to quickly grow your business. For example, you may spend $5,000 in advertising and generate a ton of website traffic. But if no one buys, it could mean that your advertising strategy is not effective, or it could point at an issue within your website or with your product. KPIs help you identify what to track and let you know if you're doing a good job or a bad job. Like the old saying goes, numbers don't lie. By tracking your KPIs, you can be honest with yourself and proactively seek solutions to the problems that may be slowing your business growth. Okay, now let's move on to the second major KPI category, liquidity. Most businesses fail because they run out of cash, period. You can have a ton of customers and still not have any cash in the bank. For example, I have a construction client that has seven figure sales on paper, but his customers are not paying his invoices on time. So as a result, he struggles to pay his employees and contractors. In other cases, I've seen businesses with debt payments that are so high that they had to make a tough choice between paying back their lenders or paying the employees that work for them. These are problems that can be prevented by tracking liquidity related KPIs, such as your working capital, accounts receivable turnover, and burn rate. Working capital is simply how much operating cash you have in the bank to operate your business. Most businesses try to have at least three to six months of operating expenses and cash. So if something comes up like a recession or if sales suddenly go down, or maybe customers are not paying on time, it does not put your business in a very tight position. With that said, accounts receivable turnover measures how quickly your customers are paying you. If people take months to pay your invoices, you're going to have a cash flow problem. Or if you sell products and have a ton of chargebacks, you'll also have a cash flow problem. Tracking your accounts receivable turnover helps you detect and correct these situations in your business. If you leave it unattended to, you might find yourself wondering why your bank account does not match up to your income statement. Now, your burn rate is simply how much cash you're burning each month. What are your monthly expenses? And not just expenses, what are your expenses including your debt payments? Looking at your burn rate and working capital will help you make sure that your business stays afloat. In order to do this, you should also have a budget and know how much money you spend each month on average. That way you can make sure that you have more than enough money in your bank account. Now, let's talk about the third key area to look at, profitability. You can be great at both customer acquisition and managing your liquidity. But if you're not profitable, you will eventually dig yourself into a hole you cannot get a hold of. Now, the obvious things to track here are your revenue, expenses, and most importantly, your profitability. Your profit margin should be the result of careful budgeting and expense management. It should not fluctuate too much and certainly never surprise you. So these are the main KPIs that I urge you to keep track of in order to manage your business effectively. But remember, there are likely many more specific KPIs related to your business structure. So sit down and think about what metrics correlate to the success of your business. The last thing to address here is, how in the world do you even begin to track your business KPIs? Let's go ahead and dive into that. First of all, nothing is possible if you don't keep track of it. Regardless of how simple or tedious it is, you must track the things that are critical to the success of your business. With that said, you can start by doing your bookkeeping on a monthly basis. 
You won't be able to track any of your KPIs if your books are not done on a regular basis. If you wait until tax time to do your bookkeeping, then I have to tell you, you're not managing your business finances correctly. Books are not done to simply comply with the government's wants and needs. That's the last thing you need bookkeeping done for. Books are done to provide the fundamental starting point for tracking your business KPIs in managing your business. It's where the greatest business minds like Warren Buffett start when analyzing businesses. Financial statements. Track your business revenue and expenses monthly. Then you can apply certain ratios to your financial statements that tell the story of how your business is performing, like the account receivable turnover or return on ad spend metrics that we discussed earlier. Another thing that you need to do is to track your non-financial KPIs. KPIs are not just found on your financial statements. It's everywhere in your business. For example, metrics like website traffic, store traffic, sales meetings, conversion rates, customer retention, satisfaction, and so on are not going to be found on financial reports. And sometimes you will have to compile this data yourself. Now, ideally, you'd have these reports generated from software and tools that you may use to make this very easy. For example, a good CRM may automatically tell you your retention stats. Google Analytics will automatically tell you your website traffic. And customer surveys may tell you if your customers are truly satisfied or not, and so on. But even if they don't, then you will need to roll up your sleeves and do the dirty work to compile this information. Because remember, once you have this information, you can sit down and really look at what's going on in your business. Otherwise, you're simply unable to make informed decisions backed by data to grow your company. This analysis is where the real business starts happening. The greats grow their business by looking at the data. They make fact-based decisions, and they use KPIs to not only make those decisions, but to also tell them later if they made a good decision or poor decision and adjust accordingly. With that said, let's summarize the major points of this video. Number one, what are business KPIs? KPIs are simply quantifiable metrics used to evaluate the success of a business. Why are KPIs important? Because they align your deepest business objectives with your current reality. And as a result, this helps you make decisions better in your business. What are the most important KPI areas to track? your customer acquisition, which focuses on how you acquire customers and at what cost, your profitability, which aims to make sure that your business is returning profits, and finally, your liquidity, which aims to make sure you don't run out of cash. Now, how do you get started with your business KPIs? First, set your strategic goals, then figure out what KPIs are used to measure the success of those goals. And then lastly, you need to track them by having up-to-date books, and reporting on non-financial KPIs. If you enjoyed the content of this video, then please help me out by hitting the like button below. And also, please subscribe to our channel for more exciting content to help you grow a successful business. Talk to you soon.